Hello everyone, my name is Juliet Puerio and ang pag-uusapan natin today is the role of life insurance in your financial plan. So bakit pa napakahalaga na merong life insurance? Now a lot of people allergic sila dito. No? Ayaw nila itong pag-usapan, iniiwasan it nila ito na topic or in general negative sila about it. Pero baka lang hindi nila inaiintindihan yung importanteng uh, role nito sa, um, sa ating um, finances. So Um, ito yung magiging uh, discussion natin today. So, by the way, my name is Juliet Porio. By profession, I'm a certified public accountant or a CPA and an associate financial planner of the Registered Financial Planners of the Philippines. I'm also a certified life insurance underwriter. But it doesn't mean na bibenta lang ako ng insurance, no? What we are here for in IMG because we want to teach people how to choose the right kind of insurance at the same time, paano ba nila mabibuild yung kanilang financial foundation, no? Um, other uh, topics sa personal finance like savings, investments, at um, makakatulong sa kanila when it comes to their finances. So, the need for insurance goes back to the X-curve concept, no? So, the X-curve concept, or yung X-curve is the story of, of our financial life, no? Na from younger years, lahat tayo tatanda, no? We go to the older years. And usually, during the younger years, normal na wala tayong saving, siguro dahil bago pa lang nagtrabaho, maliit pa yung sweldo, hindi pa na-promote, or hindi pa kumikita yung uh, sinimula na negosyo. Pero actually, the real reason is that um, halos lahat ng income natin papunta sa responsibility. We have a high responsibility and we also acquire lots of debts. So, bakit? Because this is also the time na uh, we start our own family, no? Um, nagkapamilya, bumili ng bahay, no? Bumili ng sasakyan. So, at merong anak na pinapaaral. So, there is a problem here. Why? Because what if you die too soon? So, who will take care of your families? Sinong mag- Uh, magbabayad sa housing loan, sa mga car loan, sino magpapaaral sa anak, di ba? So, ang solution dyan is life insurance, which we will tackle more later. Now, ang goal mo dapat, as you move from younger years to older years, kailangan yung savings line mo ay tataas. No? So that, um, by the time you are in the older years, mar- mayroon kang malaking savings and wala ka na ring utang no because siguro nabayaran mo na yung housing loan or nakapag-graduate na yung mga anak mo in short zero responsibility ka na by the older years so bakit importante ito because what if you live too long no eh by the time um tanda na tayo hindi na tayo makakapagtrabaho so we need to have investments and long term care okay so In short, yung life insurance, napakahalaga nito during our younger years. So, it's because parang ganito yung nangyayari, no? So, tayo, kung tayo yung breadwinner, tayo nagsusumikap everyday, no? Ginagawa lahat para sa family, para magiging komportable yung buhay nila. Ay, kayo tayo ng kayo, pero what if one day may mangyari sa atin, no? So, hindi naman natin alam kasi wala naman tayong pinirmahan ni Lord na dapat makapag-graduate muna yung mga anak, di ba? Bago tayo mawala sa mundo. So, in short, yung, yung buhay natin is hindi natin hawak, no? So, anything can happen. And we need to be prepared. Why? Because yung pamilya mo nakadepende sa'yo. So, what if suddenly wala ka sa picture from a comfortable life, yung family, pamilya mo bu- bubulusok sa poverty. No? So, ibig sabihin, maghihirap sila, katulad ng mga stories na naririnig natin, na yung mga anak hindi na nakapagtapos kasi nawala yung parents nila or yung iba, um, they are forced na magtrabaho kahit um, sa murang itad kasi nga wala na yung Um, magpo-provide sa family. So, ayaw naman natin yung mangyari sa ating family, di ba? So, in short, kailangan meron tayong maiwan. So, kaya yung mga ginagawa ng maraming tao, nag-iipon sila, no? Habang nagtatrabaho sila, nag-iipon sila para kang 
kung may mangyari sa kanila, yung pamilya nila, at least merong savings and investments na uh, maiiwan. Pero yun ang problem kasi yung savings and investments mo, kailangan mo yung i-build up, di ba? So, what if konti pa lang yan, so maliit pa lang yung iniipon mo, so kawawa yung family kung, kung konti lang, di ba? So, that's why there's a solution. So, when your savings and investments are still small, when you don't have your own house yet, pwede kang mag-rent. So, ibig sabihin, magbayad ka ng rent sa insurance company in exchange for coverage. So, parang wala ka pang savings, pero instantly, because you have insurance, meron kang instant money. No? The insurance can replace your savings. No? So, ito yung may iwan mo sa pamilya mo, just in case, while wala tayo sa picture. Now, importante din na alam mo kung magkano ba dapat yung may iwan. Kasi, um, kahit naman meron kang insurance, pero konti lang naman, no? yung family mo, maghihirap pa din. No? Kasi, Sample, 100,000 lang yung coverage mo. So, hindi yun kakasya ng ilang taon. Parang ilang buwan lang na gastos yun, di ba? So, mahalaga din na alam mo how much coverage is enough. So, yun yung uh, pag-uusapan din natin. No? So, bakit kailangan enough yung coverage? Para ma-replace niya yung income mo. So, again, life insurance doesn't insure your life, no? It ensures your family's ability to continue on without being financially devastated. So, hindi ito para sa iyo, kundi para sa maiiwan mong pamilya. Para in case may mangyari sa iyo, yung pamilya mo, komportable pa din yung pamumuhay nila. Hindi nila kailangan uh, maghirap, hindi nila kailangan mag-downgrade yung lifestyle or makakapag-aral pa rin or whatever responsibilities, mapoprovide pa din. So, para saan naman yung insurance? Hindi lang para iwa iwan mo yun, kundi para mapalitan yung machine. No? Kasi kung ikaw yung machine na nagbibigay sa family nung, mo ng 20,000 a month, for example, kailangan mapalitan nyo ng machine that will also give the same 20,000. Kasi kung, kung, kung let's say less than uh, 20,000, so kulang yun. So, In short, the purpose of the insurance na may iwan is to replace your income. So, kaya mahalaga na you you know how to compute how much protection do you need. Now, here's a formula na pwede natin gamitin. Tinatawag na die method method combined of debt, income, mortgage, and education. So, lahat ng responsibilities mo iadap mo. And that will be the total amount that you need na protection. So another easier computation will be money machine, no? Annual income times ten. So annual income times ten. Let's say your income monthly is twenty thousand. So kailangan mo annually is two hundred forty thousand. The insurance you need is two point four million. Now, itong 2.4 million na to, kailangan maturuan mo yung family mo anong gagawin sakaling matanggap nila itong amount. Because this 2.4 million, when you die, your family receives this amount, they need to know na i-invest nila yun. Hindi nila yun um, uubusin. No? I-invest nila yun at a return of 10% per year. So, kahit um, wala ka na, yung family mo, makakatanggap pa rin ng at least 20,000 per month. So, ibig sabihin, yung dating 20,000 nung buhay ka pa, in case may mangyari sa'yo, meron pa din matatanggap yung family because you leave them with 2.4 million. So, kung mas konti sa 2.4 million, syempre kukulangin yung may iwan na um, money din na, mata na matatanggap nila every month. So, ang problem... Gusto, ka, gusto mo ng malaking coverage, pero masyadong mahal. Why? Because hindi natin alam paano pumili ng insurance. No? Hindi natin alam na marami palang klaseng insurance. And um, isi-share ko sa inyo na merong life insurance program 
na meron tong apat na good um, features, no? It has safety, it has growth, it has protection, and tax advantage, no? So, um, safety, like the bank, growth with investment, no? And protection, insurance, and um, not subject to tax. So, ano ba tong program na to? Um, it's one of our partner company, no? It's most 18 or multiple option super term. A product by Manila Bankers Life, no? Manila Bankers Life is one of our partner companies in IMG, no? So, the Manila Bankers Life is a Filipino insurance company established on May 19, 1967 by Senator Hill Puyat. And over 50 years na tong company na to, it provides affordable life insurance products, no? Maraming life insurance companies, but yung maganda sa Manila Bankers Life, napaka-affordable, no? Our ambassador for Manila Bankers Life is Tito Boy Abunda, no? So, si Tito Boy, alam naman natin kung sino siya, di ba? So, um, I'm sure na um, si Tito Boy, um, gusto niyang i-promote ang company dahil alam niyang maganda yung company. So, that's why we are confident na um, Manila Bankers is a good company. Okay, so... Ano ba tong most 18, no? Most 18 is a term life insurance with PDF, no? Term life insurance is the cheapest form of insurance, no? Maraming insurance company hindi na nagbebenta nito, no? Kasi napakamura, pero it provides the most um adequate or maximum coverage, no? So, um ang maganda din dito, ang most 18 meron din siyang investment side through the PDF. So, which we'll in, uh, discuss in detail, no? So, ano bang maganda sa term life insurance? Term life insurance has low premium cost, so you can save and invest more. So, yung sinabi natin kanina, para kang nag-rent. So, ano bang gusto mo na rent mura or mahal? Siyempre, gusto natin yung mura para mas makapag-save and invest pa tayo, ba? And because nga mura siya, you can get enough protection. And the premium remains fixed for 18 years. So, um, maganda din siya because it has optional renewal and optional conversion to a permanent policy. So, imagine you're at 30 years old and you need 2.4 million. You only need to, take, to pay 13,700 for uh, 2.4 million coverage. Diba? So, napakamura. So, yun sinabi ko kanina, it's like paying rent. Yung 13,000 mo, mapapalitan ng 2.4 million in case may mangyari sa'yo. Pero syempre, kung wala, the insurance company keeps that 13,000. Pero because of that, because nga mura yung premium, you can invest or save more. So yun yung maganda because it also has PDF. No? Pre PDF or premium deposit fund has a very competitive rate of return. No? So it's like Saving din sa mga mutual funds and stocks, no? But yung maganda sa PDF, it will not go negative, no? So, um, kahit mag-negative yung investment sa stocks and mutual funds, positive pa din yung PDF natin. And yung PDF din is can be withdrawn anytime and it can be given to the beneficiaries kasama na sa life insurance na coverage in case may mangyari sa um, insured, no? So, let us illustrate that, no? So, for example, you are 30 years old now and you want to be covered with 1 million. So, 1 million may not be enough. It may be small, knowing now na paano mag-compute ng tamang protection, coverage, diba? So, per pero let's say, for the sake of example, you want to be covered with 1 million. You just need to pay annually 5,710. So well, that 5,710, it will be fixed for the next 18 years. So as long as you pay for the 5,710, covered ka ng 1 million. Now, what is this annual contribution? The annual contribution is the amount that you will save. So this amount will depend on you, depending kung magkano yung ilalagay mo, and siguro um, um, it, it may not be pare-pareho every year. So, is the amount you can save. 
the amount that you can save, kukunan niya ng annual premium. So, yun yung ibabayad natin sa insurance company para covered na yun ng 1 million. This is the amount you pay for the life insurance coverage. Whatever yung sobra dun sa kinontribute mo at sa premium will go to your PDF. No, the PDF side, ito yung investment side which will earn interest. Now, maganda, it will not go negative. Yun yung sabi ko kanina, kahit mag-negative yung market, positive pa din yung PDF mo. And yung PDF mo, matatanggap din yan ng family mo in case may mangyari sa'yo. So, hindi lang yung 1 million insurance matatanggap, pati na din yung um, PDF side. No? So, um, yung PDF, yung maganda, what if hindi ka nakapag-contribute sa mga months or years, pwede din siyang uh, gamitin para ipambayad sa mga premiums mo. No, napaka-flexible uh, ng PDF. And yung PDF din, pwede din siyang gamitin. No, in case kailangan talaga mag-withdraw, gamitin mo sa um, other projects mo, pwede din. Let's say, pagpapaaral ng anak, di ba? So, pwede, mong, pwede kang mag-withdraw anytime. And after 18 years, whatever yung may iwan sa PDF mo, um, you can use that to renew your policy or pwede din convert mo to a permanent one or pwede din i-withdraw mo na lahat. Okay? So, in short, yung most 18, kinumbine niya yung um, murang life insurance para makapag-invest ka more sa um, investment side na hindi magne-negative. Unlike the VULs, yung mga um, stocks and mutual funds. So, yun yung maganda sa most 18. Now, yung X-curve, kung babalikan natin yung X-curve, most 18 solves life insurance and investment problems. No? Diba? So, mura yung insurance mo para mas makakapag-ipon ka para mas marami kang investments. Pero siyempre may kulang pa din, di ba? Kasi yung yung financial foundation natin, dalawa lang yung na-sold ni Most 18. So Most 18 only addresses the protection, life insurance or life insurance and the investment side. So marami pang other needs na na kailangan din like short-term and long-term care. So um we also need to um no, ano yung mga yun. So, it's, I suggest that you set a financial check up with your, um, for the, with the person na nag-send sa'yo ng video na to. And, um, kung sa tingin mo, gusto mong, gusto mo yung li um, most 18 na program, pwede kang humingi ng proposal, no, sa, sa nag-invite sa'yo. And, uh, you can process your application and payment online. Okay, so again, the reason we un we want to understand insurance because we want to show our love to our family. No? So if you love your family, put it in writing. So mahirap sabihin mahal mo yung pamilya mo kung, kung, may, nung, kung may mayari sa'yo, wala kang iniwan kundi problema, utang, di ba, mga bayarin. Pero kung meron kang life insurance, in case may mangyari sa'yo, meron kang may iiwan sa pamilya mo so that they will be comfortable no maaalagaan mo pa rin sila kahit wala ka na di ba so ultimately it's the best way to show our love okay so i hope marami tayong natutunan today and um hopefully mag-attend pa tayo sa iba pang mga trainings god bless everyone